Are you tired of writing notes by hand, perhaps even losing the notes that you took or the notes getting ripped up by accident? Well, I was. And to resolve that, I started using OneNote. As a project manager, I needed a clear, concise, organized way of taking notes on all of my projects and being able to find a way to send them out to my customer. So let's begin. I'm going to show you how I created my OneNote notebook and organized it efficiently. To start, we will need to open OneNote. Let's go to Start, search for OneNote, click Open, and there we go. For today's example, let's use a notebook that I've already put together. As you can see at the top of the notebook, there is a place where you can add new sections. If you click on the plus sign, create a new section, you can name it to whatever you want. Once you have named all of the sections of your desired notebook, you can then click out onto the page. Let's go back to the Azure tab. As you can see, I have already populated the workbook in the format that I typically use. For example, if you scroll to the right, you can see Add Page. I've already put in my client's name, the program manager or my technical resource that will be taking notes on the call, and the specific date of which the call took place. For example purposes, let's add another member of the team that is going to be joining the call and let's label the call the call's date accordingly. Right click and click on new page. Right click again and hit new page and continue to do so for however many pages you wish to add. As you can see it is labeled right now untitled page. Go over to the left hand side at the top of the page and type in the name in which you want to name the page. As you can see, best notes are aligned with the call page instead of Jane's notes. To demote or promote the page, simply right click and go down to promote page. Now you can see Jane's notes and Beth's notes are in line. Now let's go label Beth's note page. To do so, again, click on Untitled Page and go to the left hand side and type in how you want the page to be named. As you can see now, all client A's notes taken by Bob, Jane, or Beth are on the page. Once you have a meeting organized with client A with all the participants necessary, simply click on the call note page that you wish to begin typing on. To have the notes inserted with the respected meeting, go to your Outlook client and find the respected meeting that you wish to import into your OneNote page. To do so, Go to the meeting invite, click on meeting notes within the invitation. You're going to share notes with the meeting and upon clicking on that, it will take your meeting invite and import it into your current note taking page within OneNote. As you can see, all your meeting details are in your note page. For example, your meeting subject, your date, the participants that are in the meeting, any potential agenda that you included in your Outlook invite. Now you can begin taking notes on your current call. Once you have finished taking all the notes necessary and the meeting is finished and you would like to share all the notes that you took on your call with the participants present or even those not present, Go to File, Send, Send as a PDF, 
and you'll see an Outlook email message has popped up. As you can see, all the notes that were taken from the meeting are automatically attached and pre-populated into the email. Also, the subject of the email is named what you had named your OneNote page. To simply send, include all the participants from the call or any new participants that you like to be added. Once you have done so, just click send and everyone that was included in the email will now have the notes.